Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Devil Cellar. My name is Rodrigo Jaguleiro Rakio. I'm here to introduce you another classic video game, and this one is a very badass one, and you know who I'm referring to, the one and only Robocop. So here we go with Robocop, actually, like it's an amazing the video game that it came out back in 1988, just as the movie itself, right? But uh, the movie came out in 1987, which it was perfect for its time as well. One very fu futuristic style of a ro robot ga video game, right? So now, like, uh, this video game actually, like, a uh, part of my childhood as well, because, like, I remember the first time I watched the movie, and I was only, like, a seven or year, eight years old, actually, when I watched the movie, and I was so impressed with it. Like, by all the effects, all the blood happening, like, all the gory stuff, like, uh, yeah, it was kind of, like, a little bit bloody, of course, in uh, this movie as well. Lots of violence, uh, it was incredible, right? It was just a perfect movie for its time. So, I believe whoever, like, had the chance at the time, like, was a kid, I would get to watch this movie. Of course, it was utter shocking at the time, and it was so much fun to watch. So, there were multiple times, actually, that would enjoy watch this movie over and over again. So, how about we, if we go and play the video game now and kick some ass with Robocop? Let's see, we're adding the credits because we're gonna need them for sure. Alright, so here we go. So it's supposed to be 1990 when it happened, this entire thing, right? Like, um, and here is Murphy becoming a robot. So here we go. Oh, that's uh, actually my my feedback thing. I suppose like to turn it off, right? Anyways. Here we go. Pizza to go. How is that? So that's one strategy like to to destroy the motorcycle, right? I would say this is the best uh, Robocop version, like uh, the Nintendo version is meh. Nothing like the arcade version of course. The arcade version is way much better, much more superior, more difficult. What can I say, right? Mm. So we punch that granny. Eh? And here we go. <coughs> I don't like so much like using the triple weapon thing, right? So like that's the reason why like I'd rather to have like this the single shot weapon instead of having the triple bullet one. All right, there we go. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go to our first. Uh, actually, no, it's not a shooting range there yet. Okay, we're gonna go to this part here. Right? So I get to save the whole stage, right? And I, of course, uh, this fool is gonna. Oh, I couldn't reach that fool. Did you notice that thing? I think I went a little bit too far. Anyways, um, here we go. Okay, like, with this part here, gotta watch out for that guy with the chainsaw, right? Okay, like, that guy he takes a lot of energy for sure. So that's one way like actually to destroy this thing here. Like now this weapon is very special, right? It's a very special weapon that actually is very destructive, right? Ooh. Now he took a lot of energy from me, eh? Now we're gonna go here, we go down, all the way down. Actually, if I wanna save that weapon, I can actually just uh, wait for them and I can punch them. Oh my god, see that? And this is exactly what happens, like, I'm dying, I'm dying a little. Well, I don't want actually that weapon, I don't like it the same way, but I died anyways, right? Because like I was uh, trying to avoid it. Now, here we go. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna get it just in case, right? Oh. You are under arrest. You are under arrest. 
Oh, that was it for this one. See, you notice like how quick they go. You're under arrest. There you go. And then like all these fools they come over, right? So they're taking most of my energy just like that because at the same time I should have stayed in the middle no matter what. So I forgot that these guys actually they were going to be jumping from one side to another. Alright, so now we go to the shooting practice with Robocop. So let's see how we're doing here. For this one you gotta be uter quick, right? Like you got the different things there, right? Different targets coming on to you, right? I love it actually the way like it points it out altogether. Whoa. Whoa. And it's going faster and faster and faster. Oh. I think I missed one target. Two. Three, four, four. Blah, 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 Okay. So we got a total of 87% hit. It's really tough that actually you're gonna get all the hits. I swear, like sometimes like, you just don't get them all. Okay, so everything's happening like in only one place. Oh my god, see? Like it kind of like as soon as you didn't you didn't even start and you start with the entire struggle right away. Ooh. Give me a little, little, little. careful there. Now those those things that they fall from, from above. They can be punchable, right? That's more energy for you. Oh my god! So, if they fall on you, they're gonna ruin your pathetic life, just like that, how they did it. It's really ridiculous, eh? In a certain way, how just like a. The way he does it, eh? Like, so, he left me all trapped there, right? See that thing? Oh my god. So this cool thing, this cool weapon that you see here. It's like like super cannon basically. Now for this one, it's very useful the way he does it, right? Now, I got some more here. Wow, it really blew that, that guy's ass. Okay, so this one. So, I guess I lost them all. If I'm using it. Okay, so that was one... And... That was it, basically, for this mission. Very simple. <laughs> That's funny, he walks to you like with the same position when he's holding the big gun. And we're looking for Dick Jones. Oh my god, there you go. So that was a second coin that I... Actually the third one <laughs> that I spent on this thing here. Yeah, I forgot when that other piece of crap fell on me and I destroyed my entire life. Really. See those things there? And you can you can punch them actually, like you can push them further. So I don't get how the hell he fell the other one right on top of my head. Oh. 
Okay, so we got uh, to to obtain the, the same bullet as before, right? part here we have obtained another thing here let's see now we're going all the way up here right. so we have only two of them left the reason that I'm just keeping this one here. You are under arrest. You are under arrest. So I can have like a, a better reach. You are under it, right? And that would be it. Thank you for your cooperation. 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 <laughs> I like doing the rock of voice sometimes. Okay, so here we go to another part where we go with this snippy snappy shooting part, right? And every time it gets much more difficult, more challenging, as you can see, like it goes to the speed of light, like whenever they're hiding this kind of, kind of things, right? Ah. Oh. And. Okay, so we got up to like a 40 hits. So 40 hits means that we got 100% hit. That means we are the perfect shooter. Now check this out. Full energy, yes, full energy bar for us. Excellent, your energy capacity is to the maximum. So there's an emergency call and now we got to go to the o OCP building, right? Because like we have gotten it's like uh, all the forces are against uh, Robocop right now. Okay, nobody likes Robocop at the moment. Give me that weapon. It's mine. I'm gonna give it a better use. Oh, did you see that? Greasiness. Oh, oh, oh. See how it slows down because it's charging so many items at the same time? So here we go once again. Right here. And we're starting over and over again. No, the good thing about this video game is that it start all over again compared to many other that when you miss it. When you fail in a certain mission, they make you wait 
you know, and start all over again. But I know it doesn't happen in this case, which is much better, right? Oh my god! Look here. Here it goes. Oh. I knew I was going to get another bullet. Ah. No. Oh, I better catch it. What we got here? Oh, this fucker here. Okay, so what happens with this one is like, we have to remain like a ducking the entire time when he's shooting the big proto cannon, you know, whatever you want to call it. And whenever he's throwing the missiles, see, like, so we dodge that. Ooh. All right, so that was perfect. The way we just did it. So that's the only way actually to defeat that guy, right? And um, it's basically coming all the way to the back of it, duck all the way there, and I make sure that you avoid any of the those missiles that are coming like from from above, right? From his back, right? Now we're in this other section of the. Oh, I didn't notice that. I forgot actually this guy said start shooting from that. Ooh. I'm gonna let it get closer here. Give me that thing. So now those lasers. Okay. There we go. So we go up and up again. forgot about it. That's important. That's priority.
Okay, and there's another one. Very cool. Now, here comes two robots. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Okay, so here's the, the tricky thing about this part here. So, who would you rather actually defeat first? So, the whole idea is like when you're trying to defeat one of them, as they are attacking you from both sides, you have to destroy first the dude who is uh, shooting the proton cannon to you. Alright, so he would be the first one that we gotta take care of. So in this case, we're gonna duck here. He gets until this point. Now we get back again here. We wait for him. Then we go back. And he, he's gonna come back for, for more, right? So we don't have to actually like hide too, too far from him. Now we go back and we destroy him, right? Now we're gonna make sure that we destroy the other one, right? And the other one, all he's doing is uh, just uh, shooting you those kind of bullets. So it's not like uh, really throwing any other kind of projectiles to you. So, there we go. Thank, Thank you, you for your, your cooperation. cooperation. See, there you go. Uh, I know, it doesn't seem that simple in the beginning because it takes a lot of energy too, as soon as they touch you or whatever they shoot you, right? Now, we're pretty much on the final part, I believe. Is this the final stage actually of the video game? We're about to find out. Oh my god, I can't reach that part. Fucking kidding me. Anyway. Okay, so. Oh man. We're gonna die anyway, so what's the sense really? Oh my god, yeah, okay, so we got caught by by above, right? Now So we're very close to the end of it, right? This is the final part where we have to go on uh we are gonna go and face a uh, Dick Jones, right? That fella who actually who doesn't appreciate the is not a big fan of the creator of Robocop, right? Okay, so I'm gonna get this one. I like this one better. Okay, so things are slowing down here. Oh, oh okay. Not the easiest, I'm telling you. Okay, so that maximum thing, like, basically is supposed to be the energy, but I'm just gonna wait for now. I'm not sure if we can be able to catch it later. Where? Where I have been taking too much energy already, so we're just gonna go up. Whoa! Okay, we're almost there. Just wanna hit that bastard there, right? Okay, so here we go. That's a bit of energy, right? It's not the full thing, but at least it's something. We are almost there.
Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Surprise, surprise. That code right there, eh? Now, this is the 11th floor, and that's where you see, like, uh, from the movie part, like, uh, how they have the entire um, model of uh, the of the city, right? Of the thing that they're planning to do, right? So, basically, I'm not facing him in any way, so I'm just, like, uh, all I'm doing is uh, I'm gonna face this super robot, super version of the ED-205, right? Two, 209 or something like that, like... Forgot the the name of it, but uh, so what we do is we just gonna he say shooting like a three type of things like he's shooting projectiles to you and also like he say see like he takes you really quick so he doesn't give you a chance. Okay. Oh, that projector came back at me. Did you see that? It made it come back to me. Oh, what the hell? Alright, so I died right there, but I'm sure the, the robot died as well. Oh yeah, so I killed it instantly, right? And now here he is. Okay, so what I have to do is, uh, see there? Okay, so whenever, like, he was talking, I was able, like, to, to shoot him, right? Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Murphy. Murphy. Alex Murphy. See? So I rescued the president, and I got that much money, and there goes Robocop, like, driving away with his vehicle. And that was the arcade version of Robocop. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video game, and as I say to you, you can always go and get it and play it. Like, have fun with it, show it to your kids, show it to the newer generation how cool this video game actually was at the time, and uh, so why not? Like, you gotta get to share it. Like, if they're giving away for free, like, uh, on the internet, you can just fucking download it, eh? Go ahead and show it to them. Encourage them to play really cool games. Not that shit that actually they're gonna be just, like, playing online the entire time, you know? Like, these things, say they have a meaningful thing. They, they are the more they have a storyline behind it, right? So that's the important thing about it. And as I say to you guys, go ahead. Play all you want or whatever suggestions of video games, please send it to me. Like they are more than welcome. And once again, my name is Rodrigo Jagulero Raggio. I'm directly broadcasting from the Devil Cellar. Thank you so much for watching and I catch you in the next episode coming soon. Bye bye. And thank you for your cooperation.